everybody and welcome to one of the many fallout 76 videos we have dropped and will continue to be dropping as we did get to go and play the game over at the greenbrier event that bethesda did host huge shouts out to bethesda for actually inviting us out to that event and flying us out it was an absolute ton of fun and the best part playing fallout 76 for three hours with plenty of videos to come that i hope that you guys are excited for today we are going to be talking all about base building not to mention showing off every single object that you are going to be able to build in the game already you guys are seeing the base building system kind of at work and hopefully you're already seeing noticeable improvements compared to fallout 4 if you guys did go ahead and check that out over at the top you guys can see all the tabs there was a ridiculous amount of tabs and let's go ahead and actually start scrolling through every single thing that every one of these tabs has on top not just that you guys might actually be able to notice that some of these items if you look over on the left on that little bar where i'm scrolling up scrolling down some of the items have that little arrow kind of pointing to the right some of them don't some of them do if there is that arrow that means that there's actually a variant of that i did not realize this in the moment unfortunately my apologies for that but variants aren't as like different as actual different items as we are going through here but that just goes to show the insane amount of stuff you're going to be able to build in fallout 76 not just all of these items there will be different variants of certain items which is crazy and honestly some of these items are pretty crazy on top of that between like how crazy the decor got with what's giant statue of a lion amongst many other things and they're not all just decorative either there are a ton of options when it comes to base defense base building you guys actually saw the improved base building system a little bit earlier when we managed to put a couple of foundations on and we're messing around and looking around with some walls it's a lot easier easier compared to fallout 4 i'd call fallout 4 kind of like the blueprint for what this ultimately became and this became something beautiful because base building is a lot more smooth foundations can snap to each other you can build walls onto them similar to other survival games which just makes it a lot more user friendly and over here we are starting to actually get through some of the functional things you guys just saw some resources we're going through food lights water resources and we are actually about to get to power connectors and generators. There's going to be a whole ton of nuance when it comes to these base in terms of producing electricity, producing defense, producing food, providing water. And it's crazy. This is all happening in a multiplayer environment with 20 plus people on each server that you could just run across. Be like, oh, hey, what's up, neighbor? Later today, actually, later in this very video. We're going to be showcasing a little encounter we had over at someone else's base. It was quite the dope base. Don't want to spoil why, but it was very, very nice. Trust me as I say that as we continue going through all of these things, but they definitely are not as decorative anymore. They're getting kind of functional. Over here, we got a lot of different defenses. This artillery piece I want in my life. We're going to be getting that and uh, a whole ton of turrets on top of that. Now, you guys might be noticing that there are actually a lot of these might be locked. The reason for that is actually there's a couple of reasons, right? So some, as you guys are seeing on the right, do require perks in order to create. But that's not just it. Some also require blueprints in order to be created. Blueprints are actually certain ones can be gotten through quests, kind of like more specific ones, maybe more like I think we actually ended up getting like a water one through one of the quests that we ended up doing just to kind of like have a basic supply of water right so like some of those are specifically given through quests but from what i heard i think it's going to be many and most are going to be randomly looted and gotten throughout the world through quests all types of jazz like that not to mention that uh which i'm called the reason that i'm also not building a whole ton in this episode necessarily is that we did not have the pure amount of resources to do this unfortunately but when the full game does come out, not even the full game, when the beta comes out, there's going to be a ton of base building coming your way because uh, I like building up my bases. And over here, we're actually doing a little bit of that base building. Nothing crazy, but we're actually tossing down the turret and seeing how it works and uh, having a go at it. And I don't know, man, it feels good to be able to protect ourselves like this, especially when we're not just protecting ourselves against random enemies in Fallout 4. Like, oh, my name's Preston Garvey. Your, your, your set, settlement's under attack. Like, nah, dude. Like, there's going to be people attacking us now. Actual threats, actual battles, actual defense. And what am I doing right now? Well, cop a peek at all those icons, all those things at the bottom. Those actually denote the blueprint system that we are doing here. So you can actually create a blueprint of your camp where you select certain items and you can blueprint them. And you can even go ahead and maybe like blueprint a small portion of your camp. That way it's just very easy to go ahead and copy and paste. Maybe like, like a watchtower blueprint, for example. You could go ahead and blueprint like your entire camp, for example. And that makes it very easy to especially when you move your camp to go ahead and rebuild 
very quickly now the camp can be removed i believe initially you can actually set it up for free but after that i think that there is a fee associated with like moving your camp from one location to another the reason for that is because it's very easy you can move your camp at the click of a button you don't have to be back at your old camp you don't have to do anything let's just say you're in the middle of bufu freaking egypt right your camp's over in i don't know antarctica you just tap tap a couple of buns i believe you go to your pip boy and at least on the controls we're using hit lb and you can, oh look at this my camp's over here and you just move it easy peasy the benefits with it is that it actually does come with free fast travel fast travel does cost caps if it is uh to i believe certain locations or i think if it's like the distance also if it's like very long there might be a uh, cost associated with it but i do know that camps for sure do have free travel associated with them which is really nice and we are actually seeing an encounter over here at a player's base we're seeing the dopeness that he has been able to build this is something he built up from scratch you can see he's got turrets he's got a freaking porta potty dude this man really is prepared for the apocalypse and for an absolutely lit concert because another thing you might notice dude this guy has decked out his base with instruments there are even kind of like fun little items you can build like that freaking tuba and uh, you could start your own band if you so choose and uh, well i go ahead and decide to play my piano skills i'm actually an expert pianist i was uh mozart a couple lifetimes ago or something right was a mozart polish he had something to do with poland i remember because they always talked about it was it mozart or was it chopin whatever there was some piano dude something with poland i'm a random polish guy but back to the topic i was talking about uh, i actually want to go ahead and reference something a little bit earlier i didn't get to instantly talk about but i wanted to mention as actually you guys may have seen that green zone surrounding the base that is the area where you are actually allowed to build that is kind of like your area of influence that you can utilize and do stuff with your base with outside of that you cannot and i also believe there's a system in place where you're not allowed to build too close to uh established settlements like vault 76 for example you can't be ridiculously close to it like a big town somewhere on the map that maybe has like some ai some traders stuff like that you're not allowed to be crazy close to however i don't think that that's gonna stop me or many of you guys out there from uh getting a little bit feisty with some of the neighbors and trying to start out some all-out turf wars that's gonna be awesome Awesome. engaging into base battles like that especially once we flesh out our defenses and can even build up to something like this but even then this guy's base doesn't incorporate walls that much you can see a couple actually over here by the workbench we're using another thing you can put down is these different workbenches that do allow you to make so many different items on top of like ammunition armor scrap all your stuff just overall super useful there's just a crazy amount of useful things you could build that i only managed to scratch the surface of so whenever the beta does come out and as soon as i get my hands i want to fall out 76 again there will be a much bigger base focus i would say so we could go ahead and start doing some crazy things because uh, i'm a base building survival type of man what can i say but with that said and with that done i'm gonna go ahead and let this puppy play out for y'all like i was saying i did lack the resources in the play session i just didn't go out because i really wanted to check out everything the game had to offer so i didn't manage to get too many resources but as soon as that beta comes out stick around there's gonna be plenty of base building coming along with other dope things we're gonna be checking out and feel free to let me know in that comment section what you might want me to check out in the future that could go ahead and be your entry for the giveaway when it'll be announced in tomorrow's fallout 76 videos expect daily videos of fallout 76 for quite a while here because uh well my hype train is all aboard and there ain't no breaks on this puppy i'll tell you what so make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all that jazz and the many other dope survival games we're checking out on the channel best of luck in the giveaway and uh most important of all i hope you guys have yourselves an absolutely a fan for fantastic day but that's gonna go ahead and do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya